Good afternoon, Facebook viewers. I'm Rebecca Sismersky with the Register Mail, and I'm here today with Fran Favon, owner of the Galesburg Dairy Queens. And Fran, today I wanted to start by asking you, who is that in the picture behind you there? Uh, that, we call him Grandpa McCullough, but he was uh, the originator of Dairy Queen. He was my next door neighbor, and all the people in the little town of Green River called him Grandpa McCullough. And now, he was how you and your dad started working for Dairy Queen. Right. My dad went and got the first machine in, um, went to Wisconsin and picked up the first machine in uh, 1940 and uh, brought it back and that was to be delivered to, um, uh, up to uh, Kankakee, um, up at Kankakee, Illinois, where Sherb Noble was the owner of an ice cream bar there and they did a test. And then how did you get into it originally? Oh, uh, I worked in the mix plant when I was 15. Uh, my dad managed that for Dairy Queen. And then um, I went away to college after I got out of high school. And uh, I was in California working for Douglas Aircraft at the time. And we decided we wanted to move back into the Midwest in 1963. So we moved back here. Um, not in 63, but we kind of worked on it and we got back here in 1967. And uh, 1968 was our first season at the Dairy Queen here on Henderson Street. And why did you like it so much that you decided to stick with it? It was familiar to me and it was a nice clean business and I enjoyed it. Um, I, I kind of knew what I was getting into. Uh, it was a lot of hard work, but, but uh, I, I like it. Definitely. And your family got involved too, right? Your wife Linda is co-owner with you. Oh yeah, it's been a, she's always worked with me. In fact, we bought the other store on Grand. Um, I was here all day, she was there all day, and, um, and my mom took care of the kids. So, so it's been a family effort all the way through. And your kids, um, how did you make time for family then between balancing the two businesses? Oh, uh, well, we always kind of scheduled it in so we could be there for concerts and things that the kids were involved in. Uh, my daughter is in art competitions and so forth, so we always tried to make time for that. And you mentioned too earlier that throughout the whole time, Dairy Queen product line hasn't changed too much, is that right? No, it hasn't. We, we still have the malts and the shakes. And the, Sundays, and, uh, but they added, started it out, added hot dogs and barbecue, and then they added the breaker line at that time with the hamburger. And then um, now we have a full menu, and chicken strips is one of our biggest sellers. And then they added frozen cakes after that. Cool. What's your favorite item on the line? I'm still, I'm a purist. I still eat a vanilla cone. Hey, nothing wrong with that, and only 5% butter fat, right? right. Cool. How has the operations in the store changed, though, since you first took over? Oh, tremendously. We have a lot. We have some of the equipment has changed. It's basically the same. But the addition of the blizzard changed a lot. When they put that in, that became our number one seller. And, of course, all the food equipment that's in the stores now is, a, is another change from when we just sold home Sundays and malts and shakes. You mentioned that there's no longer those big hoses, right, that they used to Right, we used to pump mix out of the cooler with a hose, and now it's uh, it's all self-contained in the, in the machines. We put it in a five-gallon bag at a time, and it holds uh, like 36 of them for 30 gallons at a time. Wow, that's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it's just that box on the bottom of the machine. <laughs> You mentioned uh, your son works at Chick-fil-A and that the chain is a good fit for him. Um, yeah, he's an owner-operator of the Chick-fil-A in Moline um, on John Deere Road, and it's a good fit for him. He fell in love with it when he lived up by Chicago, and he just thought it was kind of neat because they close on Sunday. <laughs> Definitely get a free day off, right? Right, but it, he was a pastor at the time, and so he really didn't. Didn't get a day why was Dairy Queen, do you think, a good fit for you and Linda all the years? Uh, just because it's a good, clean business, and, uh, and I was most familiar with it. Well, thank 
thank you so much, Fran, for being here today and sure. sharing a little more of the Dairy Queen story with us. Right. And viewers, you can check out more about Dairy Queen and its history in this Sunday's edition of Your Register.